Naitwa Nikola Mbungu. Mkulima wakawa katika kijiji cha Sepkila, wilaya ya Mbinga, Tanzania. Nimeolewa na nina watoto watano. Katika maisha yangu ya ndoa nina miaka 22. Mume wangu pia ni mkulima wa kahawa. Sisi kama familia kipato chetu kinainuka sana kutokana na zao la kahawa. Ninavyomka asubuhi kwanza nafanya usafi wa mazingira. Harafu nateka maji. Pili naandaa chakula cha familia yangu. Baada ya hapo nenda kujishughulisha na kazi za shamba la kahawa. Kwani sisi tunaweka nane za mashamba. Eka nne ni za mashamba ya kahawa na eka mbili mashamba ya mahindi. Eka mbili ni za mashamba ya maharage. Mimi nimejiunga na kikundiki tangu mwaka 2016. Mume wangu amejiunga kikundiki kwa muda mrefu. Lakini kwa sasa mimi ni mwanachama hai. Kwa kwangu katika kikundi nimepata faida nyingi ikiwemo mafunzo yatokanayo na kikundi kwanza nimejifunza mbinu bora ya kuhudumia shamba ikiwemo kufanya parizi kwa usahihi kuweka mborea kwa wakati kuvuna matunda ambayo yamekuwa yameiva vizuri na kuyauza dai our company policy is to have at least 30% women participation employment on all levels. Also, with the training supported by IDH, we focus on household and we actively encourage women participation. We encourage household registration and we include the wives as a signator once we grant loans. In this way, women become serious business partner. It empowers them and it gives them better overview on money situation and bigger say on household budget. In this case, Coffee farming become a family business. We offer training concerning good agronomic practice and also we offer training concerning access to finance and at the company we are providing loans to our farmers. It is very important to include women in trainings because when two people learn they remember more than one and when women are included in trainings they will be aware of the loans that they are signing in. They will be able to understand which amount of loan that we have and how to repay it. If women sign for the loan, they will have a say concerning to the use of money in their family. Mwaka 2017, tulipata mkopo wa pepejo kutoka dae. Wenye tamani ya shilingi tisinambili alfu. Tulifanikio kupata mavuna kutosha. Yani kilo mia alfu tatu na mia tanu. Kilo mia moja kumina tanu, tulilipa mkopwetu kwa dae. Kilo zilizobaki sisi tuliuza kwa dae. Tukapata shilingi milioni mbili na lakini. Faida tulio ipata, tume, tunaitumia kwa ajili ya kusomeshe wa toto wetu, sekondari. Nyingine tumenunua sola na TV, tunakarabati nyumba, tunanunua mifugo. Na nyingine tunategeme kununua mbaole kwa ajili ya msimu huu. Tunatalajia tuungize mashamba kutoka kwenye kanani zipike kwenye kakumila mbili sasa pia tuongeze mifugo ili tuweze kupata samadi kuboresha hii mashamba yetu na vile vile tuweze kuwekezea kara watoto wetu wasisome kwa shida ninawashauri wanawake wenzangu waingie katika kikundi kuwa mwana kikundi unapata faida nyingi ikiwemo elimu kuwa pamoja na mume wako katika maamuzi pia kushirikisha familia yako katika kutenda kazi zenu 